Now you don't see me in here much. I don't, I'm not in here that much these days. This has just kind of become a giant closet that I come into every once in a while. And I'm in here today because I'm trying to pack just for two nights and I'm fucking oblivious. Okay. Like, (laughs) yeah. And this is the girl that used to like have a bag on set, ready to go all the time, jet setting everywhere, all over the place. And like, I haven't left my house for a night. Like, so last time I left my house is when I went to spend 11 days in San Diego And nine of that was in a van. Um, And so it was very minimalist. Um, And uh, that was a wild adventure. And um, am I I still here? Okay, I'm still here. Okay, I gotta call that person back. So, um, Yeah, and when I got back from that trip, I got my bubby. Um, And I haven't haven't left my bubby alone. My bubby, my kitty, um, I got him when he was a month old. And he's like, what, eight-ish months old now? And we've been together every night. Like, (sighs) I'm so excited. But it's like, as it's getting closer to go visit my mom, like... The idea of leaving my puppy is really hard on me. Like, I'm having a hard time with this <laughs> on many levels. Um, yeah. And my place is a mess, and I haven't had to, like, pack clothes and, you know, have clothes to go out or go out. I haven't really been going anywhere doing anything. So I'm like, okay, how do I do this again? Like, it's winter. Okay, I need. But then me and my mom, you know, we're, we're not too different. She has much bigger boobs. Um, but other than that, we're very similar in size. <laughs> so it's like, our, yeah. Um, and yeah. Uh, anyways. Sorry, I felt like my boob was out because the way the shirt falls. Hold on, I gotta cover myself because it was just freaking me out a little bit. Um... All right, yeah. Um, whoa. I am. I am so excited. It's just like, yeah, it's very, very hard to contain myself while also, you know, acknowledging like the levels of emotions that I'm navigating and the changes and um. What it's bringing up for me, I'm going back there, and that phone call I I just got is from someone I know from Worcester um, to talk about someone I love that's not doing well. (sighs) So, (sighs) yeah. Alexa, pause. I got to turn that off to focus because I got to get back to that call. So I want to focus on why I'm here and what I really need to share. I'll probably be back later now, but I just needed to diary a bit because it's been intense. Like I'm still navigating. Like, so now that I've pulled away from work a little bit and then to focus on myself and the holidays, I also don't feel like I have appropriate support and oh, there's a lot, there's a lot changing and shifting and I don't know if everybody else is feeling it, but there's been a big shift over this last month and I'm like coming to like, like this is a big shift. A lot of people are feeling a lot right now um, and as a highly sensitive person, like <sighs> And it's this dichotomous push pull, like, um, um, this, this, like, um, demolition, um, for rebuilding, 
you know, but it's all happening at once. And it's like I could see it all and feel it all. Um, some of it's mine, some of it's not mine. And it, but the reality is in my own world, there is a lot going on. And <sighs> I'm feeling really sensitive and I've noticed I'm getting easily triggered and I've had to really watch myself and I have to really just watch and protect myself a little extra more right now and I can't be in certain containers like on Clubhouse and or just certain things I can't do right now because of all the stuff that I'm navigating inside my own world. Um, but also like this is my jam like sharing publicly and putting myself out there and right now a big part of my shift involves putting myself out there and asking for help and trying to make connections <sighs> while so doing that it's like I'm feeling the other side basically the people that don't like me the people that I trigger the people have that have some really fucked up nasty shit to say about me um and just, you know, really coming to find where where it's safe and where it's not safe for me <laughs> um, at times like this. And yeah, like today I had to delete um, a post because the amount of nasty comments, like, like when I was on TikTok, I mean, people are brutal. People are so fucking mean. Um, yeah, so... Oh, I know it's not personal and, you know, but it's, it's not easy having people literally say really mean shit to you and treat you pretty fucking horribly. And right now I'm just really sensitive to that and I like, got no fucking space tolerance. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit on fire. Um... So that's that. I gotta go because I gotta get in touch with someone that I love and care about. And I gotta pack and get ready to go to Worcester. And ah, uh, I just want to take a moment to hug myself and love myself for getting me as far as I've gotten and have having overcome everything I've overcome and have had so many opportunities and choices to go back and as much as I've struggled over these last three years and thinking about doing some really fucked up shit I'm so grateful and then I just want to send a massive hug to everyone out there who is struggling with alcohol or drugs or suicidal thoughts or lack of self-love and feeling supported and loved. <sighs> yeah. So, alright, I gotta go, guys. <laughs>